guys so sorry for the weird lighting I'm in my daughter's room um, I know I haven't filmed in a while we've had a lot go on um, long story short we are not buying the house anymore just some stuff we weren't comfortable with um, was happening so we're just not gonna go through with it and we're just gonna wait a while before we decide to buy a house again um, so today I went to Target to scope out the dollar spot my target doesn't have all of their dollar spot stuff out they don't have any halloween stuff out yet it's like their main halloween section so i'm gonna go back in like a week or two hopefully um but michael got a new bed yesterday well actually like a bed frame so i'm gonna show you guys how i'm gonna organize it because it has drawers and hopefully like clear up some space in her room and like actually put some stuff away and make it more organized and less cramped and i'm going to also show you guys what i got from target so let's get on into it okay so i propped my phone up on my cousin red frame she's in the bath right now and her room is closest to the bathroom so i had a limit of 15 dollars <laughs> to get just some basic Halloween decorations because really all I'm decorating in our house is the our TV stand which I also decorated for Easter if you guys haven't seen that video go check it out um and then like a couple things on our front porch which I will get those items once they set out the rest of the Halloween stuff so the first thing I got are finally I got one of their little ceramic houses and these ones actually light up so I will probably only light it up a, like a couple times not all the time um, and this one was only three dollars in the dollar section they had different sizes but I wanted one with the chimney and these can be used all year round and um, they just had these and the dollar spot for fall this year next i got a felt pumpkin i just got white because it's like the farmhouse colors and i wanted it to match um like the rest of my house and i can kind of use it just whenever like for fall and halloween because it's a universal color and it was only a dollar Next, I got these ceramic pumpkins, a gray one and a black one. They have the gold tops. I, I don't necessarily like the gold, but what can I do? Um, these were also only a dollar. And then the last item was a pumpkin succulent. So... For Easter spring, I had a bunch of like the little Easter egg succulents and then for summer I have like a little lavender plant um, and it's universal and so I figured I might as well get a fall succulent and it's got like the little dangly so I can like put this on the edge and let it kind of hang off um, of our TV stand. And I am going to actually be getting, well not getting. I'm going to be refurbishing a TV stand my dad had bought for my sister when she was in college and we just have to fix it and then I'm going to paint it because for now we use my cedar chest and it has blankets in it and I want to move that back to our bedroom so and we were going to mount the TV but our walls suck um, so it just has to sit on a TV stand. But those are just this couple small decorations I got for now. I do want to get a couple more. Excuse me. And I wish I could decorate my kitchen and like the rest of the house. But I don't like have anything else to really decorate except for the TV stand. Um, so those are the decorations I have for now. I don't have any decorations from like previous years or anything like that. But I'm going to show you guys Maiko's new bed and what I'm putting in the drawers and then the shelf that she has. Okay, so in this clip here, I'm actually redecorating our TV stand, also our cedar chest. 
Um, I changed my mind about redoing the TV stand for now. Um, just because my dad's always busy and I'm always busy. Um, so I'm just going to still use this for now. But I'm just putting all of my new Halloween decorations, fall decorations up on the TV stand. And taking off my spring summer ones. Okay, I know the lighting sucks, but this is what I have so far. I was using her little scooter as a stand. So I've got the little white house and then the pumpkin succulent. And then to the right side, I have my home sign. I need to replace the light in it. And then I've got the white felt pumpkin, the gray one, and then the black one. So that is my TV stand. And these are the things that were over there before. I'm probably just going to leave them off and they'll just be like in the summer. And I just need to get a storage tote for them. So I just have my lavender. Bless this mess. And then good moms have sticky floors, dirty ovens, and happy kids. Yes, and Michael got a goat. So now we're going to go into her room and I'm going to reorganize her drawers. So that is her new bed frame. So it's got four drawers and two shelves. So we're going to, and she has to have that stool so she can get up on her bed. Be careful. Don't jump. And she's getting a new mattress. Like the next week or so, we've got a family member who has one brand new that he doesn't need. So let's get to organizing. All right, in this clip, I am putting Micah's shoes in this top drawer. Her shoes used to be in the top drawer of her dresser. But I figured instead of having her shoes in her dresser, I will just put them in her bed and then I can utilize her dresser for all of her clothes, including winter like pants and long sleeve shirts. So I'm just throwing all of her shoes on the floor and then lining them up in the drawer. So I can't pull the drawer out all the way. I managed to get them all squeezed in here. So we've got a pair of her sandals and then another pair of sandals. And in the very back, we've got her Sperry's and then her jean shoes, her watermelon flip-flops, her purple sandals, and then her jellies, and then her gray tennis shoes, her black ones, her pink ones, other gray, black and pink, and blue and pink, and then her cowboy boots. So all of her shoes managed to fit into this drawer. So that is one drawer done. And I'll show you guys actually where her shoes used to be. So now I can reorganize her dresser. They used to be in this drawer here. So now I can organize her shirts and her pants. So like pants can be in this drawer and like I can put all her short sleeve and long sleeve in there. And then her pajamas are in the bottom drawer. Yes. Okay. 
on the shelves I'm thinking maybe put like her smaller stuffed animals like she just threw down there so that way her toy box can the have mouse. more room the I see the mouse her toy box can have room for the bigger stuffed animals and she still has three drawers that can be used for storage so I have her dresses hanging up which I'm fine with and then jackets and then over on the left side is pants and sweaters and long sleeve so I'm probably gonna organize her dresser and like her bookshelf has like all of her books and then three storage bin of toys so I'm thinking stop all you gotta do dude there you go is that so hard but I'm thinking should I use the other drawers for her other toys and just have a completely empty bookshelf or I, like put her blocks in there I don't know what to do you silly I know his battery's dying but we've got one drawer done I might actually put her diapers in one drawer because the rest of them are up on this dresser and we just change her on her bed. Don't Mom. we? Mom. What? The kitty did go sleep. He's going to sleep? Yeah. Okay. So I might actually do that put her diapers in this bottom drawer. Let's see if they can all fit. All right guys, in this clip, I am putting Maiko's pull-ups in the bottom drawer. We did have a basket that we were putting them in, but we couldn't fit all of them in that little basket. So I'm just putting all of her pull-ups in this drawer. Um, she does have underwear, but she, we haven't even started potty training. That's a whole mess in itself. She's just not ready, that's fine. Um, so I'm just putting them all in this drawer, whatever I have left, and uh, I'll say it in the next clip, but we do get our pull-ups from Costco because it's a lot cheaper than buying them at Target or Walmart, but hopefully soon enough, eventually, we won't have to buy them anymore. I managed to get all of them <laughs> in there somehow. Um, let's see if I can shove that one. Sorry, Mom. This is a butt. There you go, Mom. There we go. Okay, so this is like two and a half sleeves full. And we get our boxes of diapers from Costco. So those are all in there. We've got two drawers left. I think I'm going to keep her wipes up there just because they're up and out of the way and like those are easy access and I've got her other packs of wipes right here so I can just kind of shove them in that corner. I see you. This is your top. You're at the top? So I'm going to stick them right there and then she's got like her her diaper cream that I can just kind of stick on the floor and then that basket I think I'm just gonna use it as like a dirty clothes basket because she doesn't have a whole lot of dirty clothes so we've got shoes 
and we've got diapers. So the other two drawers, we gotta figure out what we're putting in there, and same with the shelf. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna end it here today. I'll pick it back up on Friday because Josh is gonna be home tomorrow. All of a sudden, I just got like hit with a wave of like nauseousness and dizziness, and I just I don't feel good. No, I'm not pregnant. Um, I have dishes to do, and I've gotta make dinner, so I'm gonna let Micah play in her room. And we will continue doing all this organization, declutter stuff on Friday, right? Right. So we'll see you in two days. All right, guys, it's like two days later, so I still haven't figured out what I want to do with the other two drawers on Micah's bed frame. Um, and we still got to figure out what we're getting for Christmas. So I think I'm going to leave those two drawers empty until we see what we get for Christmas and stuff and then put them in those drawers. Um, and it's like 8.30 at night. I just put Micah to bed. I'm exhausted and Josh started his new job tonight, so he's not home. <laughs> so I get the bed to myself the nights he works, um, which we haven't like not left together unless he went on like work trips um for his old job so this is going to be an adjustment for both of us um but I'm going to end the video here I'm sorry it was like kind of spaced out and not where I want it to be I'm still trying to get motivated again to do videos but with a bunch of stuff that's been going on I just haven't wanted to like pick up my phone or camera whatever you want to call it and film so I promise I will start filming again soon. I just haven't had the motivation to do so. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. I would love for you to stick around and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.